There it is. <laughs> XT250. Talked about the 700 Tanner A and talked about the, which I dearly love. Talked about the XR650L, which makes me happy in a hog and shit lot. And now I'm gonna tell you about the XT250. This thing is more fun than having two packers. Uh, I got these three bikes and I ride them and I enjoy them. Uh, I like the dual sports and uh, put that milk crate on there and somebody told me that looked like a real hillbilly and some kind of redneck. I'm going, well, whatever. But you know what? That's all I put on by these little ball bungee cord thingies like this. And all I got to do is take them off there and take that milk crate off there. And you know what that, that happens? Turns it into a chair. I can sit on that thing when I'm down here like this. And uh, don't worry about, worry about sitting on the ground. So, and that's what that's for. Now I can carry my junk. Got that old Mad Dog seat cover on there. That's actually made for an ATV, but it works good on this. The, the seats are a little bit hard, but uh, yeah, you get used to it. The little bike, it only got like a little over two gallon tank, and I tell you what, it gets, uh, I'm getting, oh, I know at least 70 miles a gallon, because I can run 140 miles, and I put gas in it, and my uh, low uh, fuel light is not even on yet, so, so I know I'm getting at least 70 miles a gallon. But anyway, uh, the XT250, uh, there's people out there called a beginner's bike and all this kind of stuff. Like, la, la, la. yeah, 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 yeah. We heard frogs fart, fart in the water before, so it don't matter. Uh, it's, it's just fun. It's another little bike that's just fun, okay? Uh, it's, uh, yes, it's lightweight, and it's a little bit underpowered if you want to do serious dirt riding, okay? But it's not a, it's not a dirt bike. It's a uh, dual sport. And so many people get dual sports and dirt bikes mixed up. Okay, and the big major difference between dual sports and dirt bikes is uh, dual sports are made to ride on the road. They might not have the best ride, they might not have the, the best handle, uh, handling characteristics on, on the road, but they're made to ride on the road. A dirt bike is not. Okay, with that being said, there are brands out there, which I don't like them, but I'll mention them anyway, uh, like KTMs. They're, 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 uh, I would own one just because I just, I just don't like them. That's just a personal opinion. But anyway, uh, they're, they're kind of like dirt bike enduro bikes that are street legal, okay? Uh, but they are more catered toward the dirt than what they are anything else. The dual sports is made to ride on the road and to ride some light duty dirt. It's not, it's not a dirt bike and it's not a road bike. It's a, it's a halfway in between. It's just like the XR650 is. It's, it's, it's a dual sport. The Tenere, I'm gonna say it, it was, uh, it's, it's more of an adventure bike. Okay, so then you're talking about something a little different again. So it's kind of hard to, to put a, I nail down exactly what they are because there's so many gray areas, so many overlapping areas. And, but uh, I said, when I was a kid, they were, if, they, if, if, if it was uh, rotable and, and uh, you could do some dirt riding with it, it was an enduro, okay? Uh, and then, I don't know, then they come out with, it, it's, it's kind of it's hard to explain because it changed and so much and but anyway, I've got an, I've got an old TT 250 Yamaha, and back then the TTs were uh, uh, flat trackers. So yeah, like I said, they've 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 uh, got so many of these uh, bikes that uh, uh, were used for so many different things, and they're all the same bikes and they got so many different names. So the kind of the, the name games kind of got things screwed up. But anyway. Getting back to the XT, uh, the XT is, it's just, it's just super fun. 
here I am down here in the brush, down here riding in, you know, the, the, the crap. And it's, this, I'm not doing any real single, uh, serious single tracking. I'm just riding out here in the woods. And to me, there again, you've got dirt bikes, you've got woods bikes. Woods bikes are more like the, uh, like the dual sport. Uh, you can ride through the woods and you can ride some trails and you can ride back roads, gravel roads, and all this kind of stuff. But when you start talking about doing serious hill climbs and racing and hopping logs and stuff, this bike can do it, but it's going to get there last, okay? Because it ain't that quick. It wasn't built for that. Uh, but this bike is just to get out there, explore on. Just have, have fun going where you're going. Uh, that's, I mean, this bike here, I've had it up, what, uh, 60 mile an hour on highway. And it'll run 60 mile an hour on highway. I don't like running it that hard because you can really tell that, that little motor's really, it's really, uh, going at uh, 60 mile an hour but uh so you know I, I i just don't i just don't push i like the there again it's uh it's air cooled uh and uh well here, there again there's another deal uh i don't ride it hard and i don't know if you can see it or not and this bike i'll show you here in a minute if you can see the slack in the chain i've adjusted that chain once since i've owned it and I bought brand spank new in 2015, okay? And this thing has got 9,515 miles. Them are actual miles, them's, and them's all old man miles. Uh, as you can see, I'm about to be for a set of tires, but uh, you know, they ain't a big deal. But uh, no, uh, you take care of your bike, it'll take care of you. I love this little Yamaha 250. Uh, I like the 300, uh, 300 L Hondas, and I like the 300, L, uh, L, uh, the 300 uh, KLX Kawasaki. But I just, like I said, if I'm, if I'm out riding, and I had, I had to come through the brush, right down there, get down here, and if I had a, a water-cooled machine and I poked a hole in it, I'm gonna have to immediately get it back up the hill and try to get it home and probably have to shut it off and push it before I got home. Uh, you could probably do okay, but I don't want to take a chance. This is made for being air cooled, so that's that's a big deal. XT250 uh, for a bike if you just want to get out there and if if you got an XT250, you're gonna to have to like to learn the taste of bugs. And it ain't because you don't have a windshield, it's because you'll be grinning so goddamn much, uh, you'll swallow a lot of bugs. So anyway, you know, that's just the old biker saying, you know, about bugs in your teeth. But anyway, it, it's, it's a good bike. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's, it's an experience that, uh, you know, if, if you're not looking to get out there to really impress anybody, you just want to dink around, jack around, and, and you know, if you're uh, cruising through town or you want to go out, out in the country, it's, it's a good bike for you. Uh, I would not be afraid, not for one half, a, half tenth of a second, to take off this bike here and go to California on it, okay? I live in Illinois, and I, I wouldn't be afraid to do it. Uh, like I said, but, but you can't get out there and expect to run uh, interstate speed you can't do it you have to use your head and you know you know but i i like i can run about 45 50 mile an hour they say you run 50 mile an hour all day long so it would take me a little longer to get there than what it would you on on something that you know bigger machine but you know what i'd probably have a whole lot more fun getting there so because i would uh i take back roads country roads dirt roads fire roads uh Cross fields, it, whatever, whatever, whatever took my fancy. So that's the way I'd go. But the XT250 Yamaha, uh, great bike. The little KLX uh, 250 uh, Kawasaki's, great little machines. The, the 200 Suzuki's, great little machines. These little, uh, these little, uh, what they call quarter liter bikes, y you can't beat them. Uh, this thing weighs 291, I think it is. And uh, you can just, throw it around anywhere but uh it's just a great little bike uh you know don't don't overlook these little bikes just because you think oh, that's a girl's bike well 
Uh, and I'm not saying anything bad about girls right now. I think there's a lot of girls out there that does a fantastic job. But uh, no, it, it's just, uh, it's, it's for everybody. Just cause it little don't mean it, uh, it don't work. <laughs> yeah, right guys? But anyway, uh, <laughs> It's it's a good it's a good little bike. It's just a fun bike. It's something that uh, uh, if you're just looking to buy a secondary bike, just a, and you don't really want a 650, uh, I dropped down to 200 class and uh, and and well and then the KLX 230. Uh, the thing about the KLX 230, oh this is a five speed, and the thing about the KLX 230, it's a, it's a six speed. It's comparable to the TTR 230s, which is a six speed, but the TTR 230s is a dirt bike. Okay, it's a dirt bike. It's not a dual sport, it's a dirt bike. The KLX 230s is, they're, they're trying to cross the line again because uh, it's a dirt bike, but yet it's a, it's a dual sport because it's street legal. It has six speed transmission. Uh, that's the next bike I want to get my hands on. And if I, if I swallow my pride and get a job somewhere, which I just hate to do, but uh, I can work long enough to make about $4,500, I'd buy one. So unless I can do some wheeling, dealing, and trading, uh, which I got to check on, but uh, the next bike I own will be a, a KLX 230. Uh, I already got my mind made up. And uh, you know, without, without saying too much about the policies of the U.S., okay? The U.S. no longer stands for us. It stands for whoever. But anyway, uh, the policies of the U.S., they do have a, it's a 300 class, it's a 300 uh, single cylinder, it's actually 291, uh, 300 uh, Yamaha that you can't get in the States. It's air cooled. It's just like the XT, only it's a 300. And uh, I, what was that called? It was called the X, X, um, XRE 300. Look it up. Beautiful little bike. It'd be a fantastic little bike. To me, that if we could get the XRE's 300s in this, this country, that would be so close. And, I, I, and I'll tell you what, I, I like my Hondas, and I like my Kawasaki's, but I think that XRE 300 would blow both of them out of the water. I really do. Just from what I've seen of them, from just the just looking at them, I think they would blow them out as far as styling goes and looks and everything, all this kind of crap. I think that XRE 300 that you can't get in the States would be one of the best 300 class dual sports uh, bar none. I, I, I like Yamaha's, I also like Hondas and Kawasaki's and Suzuki's, okay? The rest of that European garbage, I don't, uh, it's like, pff, whatever. Uh, I don't like them. That's just my own personal opinion. If you like them, uh, go buy them, you know, and, and, and enjoy them. But I like, I like the Japanese bikes. Uh, they've been around for quite a while and they've proven themselves. And the maintenance intervals are so much better than, than some of the European models. And that's why I like Japanese bikes. I sometimes get lazy. I sometimes don't change oil at 2,000 miles. But that's right, you know what the oil is on my, my Yamaha? You can change every six. So it's like, oh, well, guy like me that gets forgetful, that's my bike. So, and like I said, they, these bikes have been around a long time, so there's, there's parts available. And so, but anyway, now it, look it up. XRE 300 Yamaha. And we can't get them. I'm gonna tell you the reason why. I'm gonna rant just a little bit here. And if I, if I offend somebody, well, sorry about that. Back years ago, and I ain't, I ain't sure when it was, probably I think it was late, late 70s, a certain motorcycle company in this country was getting its ass handed to it on, on market uh, share. There were so many Japanese bikes coming in here, people were buying them and they weren't buying their machines. So being, they'd been around since the early 1900s, they were grandfathered in and they, uh, to my knowledge, what, what, was kind of, what I always understood, what I always heard, was uh, somehow it got from Niagara where EPA stepped in there and said all imported bikes had to meet certain EPA standards, which the ones that were already made here in the States didn't have to meet. I could be wrong, don't quote me on that, but that's why I understand it. 
and I just think give give somebody an unfair advantage and kind of screwed the rest of us that don't want a big road machine and it just kind of kind of uh, trips my trigger a little bit because uh, I like these little bikes you know and I'm sure there's a few more people out there well it's like in California you can't even buy two stroke now and ride on public lands or the illustrious governor of California has put a note to that it's like who in the hell is he to tell the American people what they can do uh, we don't want to get into that but anyway the XT uh, 250 good little machine I did raise the handlebars one inch and outside that I've done nothing to this bike yeah, I just absolutely love it. It's it's a great bike, great little machine, and uh, yeah, it's getting little miles on it. But I'll probably never get rid of it. I'll just buy another new one. Uh, but that's going to be many years down the road because that's that's a good little bike. That little motor is bulletproof, and you can't go wrong. XT 250 Yamaha. Go blue. So well, anyway, now for that. <laughs>